Welcome to the Builder Joomla website video tutorials. If you've been struggling to get your head around Joomla, you're in the right place. This course is free and teaches you everything you need to know to build your first Joomla website. This is lesson one, and there are a total of 20 lessons in this course. However, you might not need to watch them all as I'll explain shortly. If you do, this entire course takes just two hours to complete. I also encourage you to get the free companion workbook from our website at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com. Video tutorials are the best way to learn Joomla, but when it comes time to doing it yourself, it's very helpful to have a guide next to you to remind you of the steps. This course is called The Basics, and it's divided into three parts. Although I teach at a basic level throughout the course, the first part is especially useful for absolute beginners. In this, I cover what Joomla is, how it compares to other solutions, and what you need to make it work. If you're already convinced that Joomla is for you, and you understand basics such as how to use FTP software, and how to extract zip file contents, you might prefer to start learning how to install Joomla, which commences at Lesson 4. Or, if you already have a Joomla website, and just need to learn how to use it, start at Lesson 11. Most of the course is comprised of on-screen demonstrations, with an accompanying explanation of each step. Let's get started. The topics this lesson covers are What is Joomla? What you can do with Joomla? and the benefits of using a content management system. Joomla is a website content management system that allows you to build and maintain a website. It's open source, which means that it's free, and you have access to the code that powers the website. You can download the software for free and use it to build as many websites as you like. You don't have to pay to get a better version. The entire Joomla core which allows you to create a fully functional website, is free. You do not have to include any Joomla branding on your website, so a Joomla website looks just like any other website. But open source also means that the programming language used to generate the website is freely accessible. This doesn't mean that you have to be a programmer, and most Joomla site owners wouldn't have a clue about the code. But this is an important consideration for developers, because it provides the freedom to change or improve the way certain functions work. A standard Joomla installation might be all you need for a basic website. But the real power of Joomla comes from the thousands of third-party extensions that are available. These provide additional functionality such as feedback forms, e-commerce, photo galleries, membership sites, location maps, calendars, banner ads, and much more. Many of these extensions are also free, but some are commercial and need to be purchased. You need four things to build a Joomla website. One, a basic understanding of how websites work. For example, you should know that websites are comprised of web pages, Web pages tend to include a navigation menu with items linked to other web pages. And web pages can include various elements, such as text, images, hyperlinked text, audio and video. Two, an understanding of how Joomla works, which of course is where these tutorials come in. Three, the Joomla software. And part of this course demonstrates how to download and install it. And four, an account with a web host which is an organisation responsible for storing your website and making it accessible to others on the internet. There are two parts to a Joomla-powered website. The front end is the collection of finished web pages, and the back end is where the page contents and other functionality is created and maintained. The Joomla back end is usually referred to as the administrator, and that's the term that's going to be used throughout this training. Now let's take a look at what type of sites you can build using Joomla. Simple sites. On its own, Joomla is great for creating simple sites with pages of text and images. Specialist sites. Thanks to extensions, Joomla websites are used to power e-commerce sites, 
membership sites, forums, magazine sites, blogs and many other uses. Custom applications. If you need to develop some functionality that goes beyond the standard features of Joomla and no extension exists that does the job, then you can create a custom application. As the Joomla framework is open source, web programmers can modify the existing functionality and add new functionality. Design options. Another aspect to consider is the look of your website. Content management systems, such as Joomla, use one or more files called templates to display the pages. There are free and commercial ready-made templates available. Or you can design and code your own template if you have those skills. Developing a website with Joomla does not mean that you're in some way restricted to a particular design or layout. You can create any design you like and fit it into the Joomla structure. In the early days of content management systems, the layouts tended to be similar. But just about anything is possible now, as you'll see from the variety of designs implemented in the following examples of Joomla-powered websites. As you can see, Joomla is perfect for all types of websites including individual sites, non-profit sites, business, government and enterprise sites. As mentioned before, Joomla is a content management system which I'll now refer to as a CMS. Traditionally, websites were built using software on a local computer and then moved to a web host. CMS-powered websites tend to be built and maintained directly at the web host. This provides several benefits, including The website is easy to update. You just connect to your website management section using a standard web browser, which is a tool that you're already familiar with, so you don't need to learn a new interface. The site can be updated from anywhere in the world, no installed software necessary. With a traditional website, you need to make updates using software located on your computer. A CMS-powered site allows you to update content from any internet connection. More than one person can update the site. Although some traditional website construction tools support multiple users, it's generally much easier to maintain and assign individual permissions using a CMS. Design changes are easy. This is one of the most powerful aspects of using a CMS. If you wish to make a design change across all of your pages, all you have to do is make one change to your template and the change is reflected throughout your entire site. There's no need to pay someone to keep the site updated. 
Website maintenance can cost a fortune. And you control when the site is updated. As you have full control over the updates, you don't have to wait for your developer to make changes. That concludes the first lesson which covered what is Joomla, what you can do with Joomla, and the benefits of using a content management system. The next lesson discusses why you should choose Joomla over other open source content management systems. Visit our website at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com and look for the link to download the free companion workbook for this series. This is a handy guide to keep by your side while you're building your first Joomla website.